So let's say you just got back from a trip from Europe. You're sitting at home looking at the photos you took, you know, great stuff. And what you're doing is reviewing your photos. But what things you, you, want, you really want to be still plugged into your stream. And if the web was about distraction, then the real time web is about distraction in real time. <laughs> but you know what? This is a little bit different. Adobe Wave is different because this is things that you actually care about. In this case, Jurg, who's the engineering manager behind Adobe Wave, and he's in the audience here, he said he likes a story on variety. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm click on a notification. That was an Adobe Wave notification. And this takes me back to this particular story that Jurg enjoyed from Variety, one of our, one of our partners. And I guess he's going to be seeing Bruno this weekend. Anyone else here on board? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get out of that. But the idea is websites want you to come back. It's kind of a no-brainer. They don't want someone to show up once. You want, when you build a site, you want users to come back over and over. And it's really hard to do that. A great user experience is really important, but there's a lot of things that are competing for users' attention. And what we figured is there should be a really, really easy way to remind users that either their friends interacted with new stuff on your site or there's new content. So let me kind of go ahead and show you what we're doing. And Adobe Wave, what you saw, that was a live notification. What I'm going to be showing you is live. And then we're actually going out live with our beta. It's a project that we're working on. And it's going on our labs site later next week. So let me co come over here to the publisher portal. This is what publishers can use to log into Adobe Wave. Now when I say pu publisher, I mean really anyone who wants to interact with their users who has a message to share, site owners, developers, publishers of any kind. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on and pretend I'm Dig for a second, one of our other partners that we're coming out with, and go ahead and set up their feed, assuming I, there we go. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to say I want to set up a fit feed for Dig. I'm going to go down and say these are the different topics that Dig has, let's say technology, um, add another one, something like business and news, business and world rather, and so on. Now one of the key interesting things about Adobe Wave is you saw the notification came up. It looked like variety. So I'm going to go in here and first I'm going to decide what colors I want to use. And Dig has a specific background color that I'm going to go plug in here. And then they also have a, a text foreground color that they use on the site and then going to go choose the dig logo and also then come in and pick a little favicon, the little dig guy. And those things are uploading a little slower than usual, but I mean the the network here we're we're bearing with it. And once that's up, I can go on. And now I as Dig get to choose who gets to publish on my feed. These would be other people within Dig that want, want to have access to this. And that's a key thing because I'll show you in a second what we mean by this. But we verified that what says it's coming from Dig actually is. This is something that Adobe goes through and verifies. And now when I go in and save my feed, what I'm going to get once that completes is a badge. And that's a badge that Dig can go ahead and put up on their site. Obviously they customize it and make it fit in with the look and feel. And now when I come along, I'm a user, I'm saying, hey, I like Dig, but I don't really remember to go back to dig.com all the time. Let me know when there's cool new stories. What I do is I click on the badge, and there we go. It says, are you sure you want to get notifications by Dig from Dig Demo? Obviously, in this case, Dig would say from Dig, but as we're doing a demo account, that's what we're using right now. And once I confirm, what this is actually doing is this is now letting me follow the Dig feed within my Adobe Wave client on my desktop. So now this is, uh, I'm all followed, this goes away, I go away from the site, I go on with my life, and I'm doing these uh, whatever I want to be doing. And the key thing is you're not throwing things out there. I opted in to receive this content. In this case, I guess on Dig there's a story about Google Chrome. So I can go ahead and click on that and that takes me back to Dig. I can interact, comment on it, and do other things with the story. But one of the key things about Adobe Wave is that this is real time. I'm able to uh, go in here and there's, it's, it's, not, it's not polling. It's a real time connection. 
So what I want to do is to um, log back into the, the dig demo account. And what I can do is I can send a ma notification manually, and any site can do this and reach out to their users and send out uh, a message to them. Obviously, someone like Dig would wire it up so whenever there's a new story that hits the home page, a uh, user gets it. But the advantage of real time is I think we all know that polling sucks. So I can send out a message here and then also choose the URL because every notification has a URL where a user lands when they click on it. In this case, I'm going to pick out the Wave Labs page where this is live next week. And when I send the notification, assuming the internet cooperates with us, this is a real time. And look, there it is. This is pretty quick. And so. over 3G, no less. And this is over 3G. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause. And wh where can people learn about this, John? Where, where can they find out more information? Wave.adobe.com is the URL. There's some information there now. If you want to go, you can provide your email address, and we'll let you know once it goes live. And we're announcing here that it's going to live to beta late next week. Okay. Thank you so much.